Welcome to this video, which explains the top five features included in the new Callisto, Affinity and Equinox software suite release. The features which will be given emphasis in the video are IMC2 handling, DD450 headset functionality, BC PTA, automatic selection of the SPL probe and edit speech score. IMC2 handling. In the recent update to NOAA 4, they've included an update to the intermodule communication protocol. In short, this protocol enables a common format which allows hearing aid fitting software to control diagnostic software. We've utilized this new function and included it within the newly updated version of our suite to allow an automatic REM procedure in cooperation with Oticon. This combined feature from Oticon and Interacoustics optimizes the procedure required for REM measurements. It includes a link within the Oticon Genie fitting software. Once clicked, the tool will launch, which allows you to perform tube calibration, REUG measurements, and REIG or REAR measurements, where the gain is automatically amended by the software to match the target. Then, should further manual fine-tuning be required, then the user can opt to do this. DD450 headset functionality. Given the recent release of the DD450 headset from Radio Ear, we've included handling of this within our new suite. This headset was created to replace the Sennheiser HDA200 headset and can be used in a similar manner for all of the same tests you've previously used the HDA200 for before. For example, audiometry, high frequency audiometry, multi frequency audiometry, and other tests. BC PTA calculation. Like the previous AC PTA calculation, we've implemented a feature which is similar for bone audiometry thresholds. This feature can also be applied when swapping into the speech audiometry screen when you want to perform BC speech testing. This then removes the need for a manual calculation for the BC starting level for speech audiometry via a bone conductor. Auto select SPL probe. A nice update within our REM module is the automatic selection of which RECD method is used based on your selection of SPL probe or normal probe during the calibration selection. In the past, this was a manual setting which needed to be changed and it was quite important as it determined the correction values used to allow real ear simulation in the coupler for RECD fitting. Now the system will automatically select and apply the correct method based on which calibration method you've performed. This feature helps to speed up your testing whilst ensuring your measurements are accurate. Edit speech score. You can now edit your pre-assigned speech score after the stimulation has stopped, but whilst the test is still running. Previously, you would have to rerun the speech test after it has stopped or amend the following stimuli in the run according to the error to compensate. However, this is not an accurate representation of the patient's speech test performance. Now, you can do this by right-clicking on the word for which the score has been allocated and then choose the new score from the selection provided. This can be done both during and after testing. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. For more information on other features included within this release, please see the release documentation, which is available from your local distributor. For more information on Callisto, Affinity and Equinox, then please contact your local distributor or visit interacoustics.com.